The other night, we had our farewell mass here, and they told me that 490 men were ordained here uh, during my time as rector. Being rector here has been like being in seminary again for me. <laughs> uh, the, the, you relearn again, you know, um, the basics of the priesthood, really. And uh, so it's been very moving for me and uh, nourishing for me uh, to be here. And certainly uh, their enthusiasm is contagious. You know, they're, they really are just very enthusiastic young men and um, sure, idealistic, and uh, they should be. Uh, the window that I have gives me such hope for the church, you know, they're, they're, they're such good, strong men uh, and ready to go do the work of evangelization and care for souls and um, motivated by love, you know, motivated by love of Christ and, 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 and his people. They're quite aware of the, of the challenges uh, that lie ahead for them. And and I think that it forces them to be more intentional about making sure they're formed well. So they're much more open and transparent, docile, than we were, much, much more prayerful too. You know, they, they take their development of their spiritual life very seriously. Their love for the poor, you know, they're, they're really exceptional. I was blessed with a private meeting with Pope Francis last year, um, and then he came to the college in May for a visit. I think it's the only seminary he's visited in the city, and he had good insights in the seminary work. You know, um, Pope Francis had worked in seminary work too, as uh, formation work as a young Jesuit, I think, and uh, he had good, good, keen insights into what you know. He asked, "How do you? What do you do? How do you do it? You know, a lot of men. How do you take care of them?" And he was very enthusiastic um, about the priorities that we have for our program and. Uh, very affirming of, of, of the college itself. I've been away 12 and a half years, so it's a long time to be away from, from family and friends. And um, obviously I love here and I love this place, but I love that place too. Uh, my home, home is home. And so I'm anxious to get back and uh, begin work there. I'll be on sabbatical for until July 1st and then take up a pastoral assignment in the diocese after that. Mm -hmm.